Most artists know that the best way to get their message across is to use shock value, while others just love making creepy and questionable works. These 15 scary animated videos come from a diverse set of artists who use their creativity to put the audience in a state of pure fear and confusion. Number 15. Meta Chaos This unsettling music video has actually made its way onto our lists before, but we couldn't leave it out this time. Not only is the visual nightmare a truly creepy work of art, it's actually a highly revered work of art. This video, directed by Alessandro Bavari, is an experimental art piece using a mix of digital art, photography, and multimedia paintings. In the original upload of the video, Bavari stated, in the description, Meta Chaos indicates a premorbidal shape of ambia, which lacks in precise morphology, and is characterized by mutation and mitosis. The bodies represented in Meta Chaos, though they are characterized by apparently anthemorious appearance, in reality they are without identity and conscience. They exist confined in a spaceless and timeless state. Though these beings are meant to exist outside reality, the video seems to feature some of the most human-based downfalls such as warfare and love. The art piece itself features fast-moving clips and faceless metallic bodies floating, spinning and falling through industry reminiscent scenery. Long vines of what appear to be cable or dark matter fall from the top of the scenes and cover the set below. Crackling, digital, and high-pitched sounds accompany the unrealistic and horrifying imagery. At about 2 minutes and 30 seconds into the video, as the imagery seems to become darker, a music soundtrack is added to the mix. The deep industrial rock or synth pop music makes the imagery all the more effective as you see these humanoid beings transcend through what looks like a post-war zone. While the story here is a bit hard to follow, as there isn't really a set message being relayed, the visuals are enough to at least keep you interested, if not immediately scare you off and question your own existence on this plane. It's a proven fact that generosity makes you a happier person, so if you're generous enough to like this video then thank you because it really helps us out. Number 14. Bad Egg This short animation starts out innocently and the style used would lead you to believe it's a short film intended for children. As the video goes on, however, it becomes clear that not only is this video not a great thing for kids to see, it's also disturbing for adults. Though the message is strong and important, it really just leaves you wondering who should create something so twisted. A dark storm is stirring in the clouds above a mama bird, who sits beside her first baby in the nest. She offers the baby half of her worm. Suddenly another egg hatches and pops out a grumpy smaller bird. The smaller bird steals the bigger bird's worm, as well as the mother's half. The taller baby bird is left with nothing to eat, and the third baby will be hatching soon. The mother flies away to catch another worm for her hungry babies. While she is gone, the newborn smaller bird realizes that once the new egg hatches, he will have to share his food with two other babies. He clearly wants all the food to himself, so in a sick yet swift decision, he rolls the egg over the edge of the nest. The egg falls several feet to a jagged rock below and a slightly bloody image is revealed. At this point it becomes clear that the animation is not intended for children and that this little black bird is evil. Without any second thought, he goes on to push the bigger baby bird over the edge as well. He sits in satisfaction and soon sees his mother a few rocks away holding a new worm. He chirps in excitement but the mother is horrified to find her other two babies missing from the nest. Seemingly out of nowhere, two loud gunshots can be heard from the ground below. The mama takes off towards her baby but is taken down by a bullet mid-air. The baby bird is left with no food, below a flock of hungry vultures or hawks. As the animation ends, a message appears that reads, Earth provides enough to satisfy every man's need, but not every man's greed. It's clear that the message was meant to show that greed brings you bad karma, 
and you will be left with even less than you need for survival. Choosing a demonic baby bird for this message is still pretty creepy though, especially considering how cutesy the art style is. This short was created by Big Animation, a team based in India. To prove that they have a more creative side, despite the film's morbid message, it has won several awards. Number 13. Hell David Firth is not a new name in the game of creepy videos. He created the well-known and severely unsettling animated series Salad Fingers and gained his share of fame from his short Crooked Rot featured on Adult Swim. In this video titled Hell, Firth does not fail to deliver the confusing and creepy feeling he always creates. It's hard to explain the storyline with this short, because there doesn't seem to be one. Overall, it's just distorted claymation creatures, a lot of blood and murder, altered photos, screams, and other distressing audio. One of the more unpleasant scenes features a baby doll twisting its head in a full circle at increasing speeds until her eye is taken out and covered in blood. <laughs> Much like Crooked Rod, it seems to be made from home, with no background for this video or who created it. You'd probably assume it came from the mind of an insane psychopath who has taken countless victims. While there's no proof David Firth is a psychopath, he definitely has a different way of thinking and he always distributes perfectly horrific content. His YouTube channel is still active, so if you're interested in more of his grotesque and marvelous work, go check him out. In a recent promo, he described his own work as a seamless stream of nightmare consciousness, which is really the only way to phrase it. Number 2. Molten Light Chad Valgallin, a solo musician and animator, has created several musical albums and animated art pieces all by himself. In 2008, he created the album titled Soft Airplane. For the song Molten Light, he also animated his own music video. Not only is the story poetic, uncertain, sad, and slightly horrifying, but the video is a perfect match for this unique creation. The imagery presented in this short music video resembles that of a children's folklore book. If that book took a turn for the disturbing, there's cartoon nudity, gore, murder, and a brilliant formula for revenge. Two men cut the heart out of a young woman, dump her body, and eat her heart. She returns from her grave as a distorted and sinister spirit seeking revenge. She now has four eyes, a large head, wrinkled skin, and looks more like a monster than a ghost or human. She rides on the back of a cliff that is drawn out like a dinosaur or horse-like creature and eventually finds the two brothers that killed her. Locked away in their home, she has grown 10 times her own size now and is a demonic creature of mass proportions. She tears down the home and kills them with a flame from her chest, where her heart used to be. After she kills the brother, she seems to be presented as some sort of higher being. In addition to this roller coaster of amazingly scary visuals, the music is a beautiful melody which narrates the story. It's perplexing to think that Chad Valgallon created this entire project by himself. Number 11. The Sad Tale of Bad Breath Joe This one minute short animation was created by Dimitri Kozma in 2010 and shares the short and tragic tale of a man with horrible breath. The comic-like animation shows us a man with stench fumes radiating from his mouth. Everyone around him is disgusted and they flee from him. He is instantly saddened and finds the only solution is to down a bottle of sulfuric acid. In the next image, everyone is surrounded by pleasant flowers, meant to signify a charming aroma. As the image pans to the left, we see Joe smiling as he is finally accepted. However, his mouth and cheeks have been eroded off to expose his skeleton as blood drips from his face. In the description of the short and bloodstained comic, Dimitri explained, A funny way to show how much we would do for acceptance from society. So clearly the message here was that many people will go great lengths to be accepted and desired by others. Number 10. Smile In 2004, Alexander Wozlewski created this worrisome animated short that really makes you think about society. 
the short features what seems to be a council of popular kids are just generally happy people. One guy is wearing a basketball jersey, while one sports a Leatherman jacket and a woman wears a tank top that says sexy bitch. The jury sits in front of our main character with huge smiles across their face. The protagonist here has no smile on his face, he seems distressed or sad. One of the jury members presses a button which shoots a large metal stake into our protagonist's back. A screen flashes with the word smile, and it becomes clear that he must smile to stay alive. He tries his best but his blood flows from him. It's hard to keep a grin and he is eventually killed off by the council. After he is filled with about five sharp stakes, he is thrown off a cliff like beam into a dark abyss. Strangely, a disco ball ascends from the ceiling and the council either engages in an innocent dance party or an orgy. This animation gives the feeling of someone suffering from depression trying to fit in, but being crucified for emotions they can't control, though the creator only stated, A troublesome individual is put against a jury. Is he capable of life in a joyous community, where a smile never leaves faces? Which gives the viewer room to speculate the different possible messages being portrayed in the film. Not only is the imagery here discomforting, but it makes you rethink the way you treat others. Number 9. It's such a beautiful day. This entry is a little different because it is a full-length film, comprised of three shorter films. Created in 2006, It's Such a Beautiful Day follows the story of Bill, a seemingly mundane man who is struggling with more than the surface tells. The majority of Chapter 1 follows Bill's daily routines. While they seem normal at first, it quickly becomes clear that something isn't right. Bill suffers from delusions, nightmares, and memory loss. The small issues are almost comedic, but as the story goes on, especially through chapters 2 and 3 published in 2011 and 2012 respectively, the film becomes darker and more upsetting. Stressful scenes, gory imagery, and terrifying audio clips come together to create a beautiful mess that audiences can't look away from. Sometimes during chapter 2 we find out that Bill suffered a head injury which has likely led to a severe mental disorder. As certain scenes pick up and become more stressful, the split-screen viewing style and combating audio becomes just as overwhelming for the viewer as for Bill's life becomes for him. While the style can be cutesy at times, the story presented only grows more harrowing. The short series has gained praise for the way it presents mental illness, bringing the audience into the battle instead of just being an unaffected crowd. If you'd like to watch the entire film, it's available on YouTube and Netflix. Not only does this short series have a perfect touch of horror, it really makes you think about those that may be suffering from mental illness and their everyday struggles. We highly suggest that if you view any entry in full, it should be this one. Just as a warning, the ending is a complete tearjerker. Number 8. The Pier This short animated film was produced in 2004 as part of a student thesis for the Ringling College of Art and Design Computer Animation by student Jason Bennett. In his personal blog, Bennett explains that he was responsible for creating all aspects of the short and that it was seen on MTV2 and was featured on SIGGRAPH 2004 Animation Theater. The short follows a humanoid creature that goes out onto a lonely pier near sunset to fish. What the fisherman doesn't seem to know is that there's a large creature perched beneath the pier, watching his every move and waiting to attack. The creature beneath the pier releases a smaller creature from its mouth to bite the line of the fisherman. He catches the small creature and eats it fresh off the fishing pole, then turns to walk away, but he suddenly hears splashing and returns to try for another catch. The small creature he devoured before begins eating away at the lining of his stomach and he drops to his knees in pain. At that moment, the monster from beneath the pier grabs him, pries his mouth open to release several smaller creatures, likely offspring of the mother, into the fisherman's stomach where they begin eating him from the inside.
The film ends abruptly and you are left with more questions than answers. The message is quite unclear, although it seems to be a twisted play on the food chain. Either way, the suspense of this scene and the artwork are sure to give you chills. Number 7. Dollface Artist filmmaker Andrew Thomas Huang created this short animated film in 2007. In an empty room, a mounted TV and an empty metal box sit in place. A few seconds into the video, some robotic humanoid pops out of the box. The machine has a human face on an otherwise mechanical body. The robot faces the television just as it turns on and swiftly surfs through the channels. The TV eventually lands on a channel where a face can be seen. The face looks very similar to the face on the robot, only it's wearing makeup. The machine immediately takes an interest and moves closer towards the TV. With a concerned expression, she uses her mechanical arms to reach into a compartment that holds makeup. First, she applies lipstick, then eyebrow makeup and blush. She stops and smirks, pleased with her new appearance. But then the station changes to an even more detailed and made up version of the face, with colored eyes, darker skin and a thinner nose. She looks up in approval as the TV turns off and begins to move away. She follows it upwards but cannot reach, so she lunges forward several times. Now the TV has come back to life and continues to display more and more beautiful women. In one last desperate attempt, she lunges forward with even more strength, but she snaps the base of her figure and falls to the floor, shattering her face. It's undoubtedly clear that this animation was based on beauty standards the media puts forth that are unattainable by men and women alike. Andrew Huang's description reads, A machine with a doll face mimics images on a television screen in search of a satisfactory visage. Doll face presents a visual account of desires misplaced and identities fractured. Number 6. Sebastian's Voodoo This short directed by Joe Quinn Baldwin was created in 2009 and follows the quick and emotional story of a small voodoo doll. The story begins when the small voodoo doll awakens in a dark, dirty room. He's mounted upon a hook alongside several other voodoo dolls. He courageously saves the other dolls by pinning himself to affect the voodoo amist. He successfully pins himself in the heart, which causes the animist to have heart failure. And the other dolls are saved. The general idea here is what makes the clip so disturbing. Not only is voodoo a commonly creepy idea, but adding living little tortured dolls to the mix somehow worsens the practice. The detail in the animation is more marvelous and even more horrifying. Number 5. Smile Yet another entry titled Smile, yet with a totally different story and animation style. The short film isn't exactly entirely animated. Most of the characters in the scenery are live action. Only the heads of the characters are animated and blown out of proportion. This disturbing presentation was created by two film students, Yuvel Markovich and Noam Abta in 2005. The film begins with our main character Yuval going over to his friend's home for some coffee. He is greeted by a woman named Haggett and walks in to find his friend Oshik fixing the TV while an apparently attractive woman lays back in a reclining chair with her broken leg propped up. A few awkward interactions lead to Yuval being nervous and paranoid. Haggett seems obsessed with the order of things, forcing Yuval out of one seat because it's her spot. Yuval then sits next to Nakomes, the girl with the broken leg. He asks her what happened and she hesitates before saying, it was an accident. So, uh, how did you break your leg? Hey, 
Hegget brings in some coffee for Yuval and Oshik. After one drink, Yuval feels tense and nervous and pours the coffee out in the kitchen, where he finds an empty bottle of Valium on the floor. All throughout this, Yuval has been seeing the woman and his friends as terrifying smiling faces. The Valium begins to knock him out and that horrifying face is all he can see before he sees the girl with a broken leg hit him with a long object. It's unclear if this is all some delusion, perhaps the increasing visions of a panic attack, or if there really is some foul play occurring. Either way, these blown out heads and creepily smiling faces makes us all almost as uncomfortable as Yuval. Number 4. Bingo the Clowno The short animated horror act was created in 1998 by animator Chris Landreth. Aside from the creepy psychological thriller aspect of this film, it is considered an amazing work in animation for its time. The use of more 3D styles with several moving parts at once and unique background designs were unseen for computer animation in the 90s. Chris Landreth created this short based on the play, Disregard This Play, which was written and performed by a theater group known as the Neo-Futurists. The short features an everyday man stuck in a circus act. Several different characters such as a rough clown with a cigarette, a slob that produces money, and a slightly demonic little girl all come by him and insist usually by screaming that he is Bingo the clown -o. For several scenes, he argues that he is not Bingo the clown -o, and he doesn't understand what's going on. Bingo. Bingo the clown. I'm not Bingo. Hi, Bingo. Bingo, Bingo the clown -o. But I'm Bingo. Not. Bingo. Bingo the clown -o. But I'm not. Hi! Hi. Hi, Bingo. But I'm not Bingo. He's coming, you know. He's coming? To check on your progress. However, through fear and what appears to be a media brainwashing, the young man eventually admits that he is Bingo. The ending after that is quite a twist. Bingo? Yes, Bingo. Bingo. Bingo the clown? Bingo the clown. Bingo, Bingo the clown -o. I am Bingo! I'm Bingo! The background, the music, the characters, and the concept are all reminiscent of an LSD trip or a magical nightmare. The circus aspect and the angry clowns really wind up the nightmare fuel in plenty of people and the sudden screaming that resembles jump scares are enough to make anyone flinch. Number 3. Rabbit Do you remember the children's books with colorful scenes? Where every item in the photo was labeled to help kids learn to read? The short film created in 2005 is basically the exact same thing, except with murder. Two children run through the woods in a farm, killing and torturing small animals. The two kids, likely brother and sister, bring home a live rabbit and cut it open. Out of the rabbit pops a small golden goblin-like figure, which kills a fly that turns into jewels. The children realize that when the small man, titled Idol, kills things, they turn to riches. They quickly realize that by using the power, they can become rich. So they devise a plan. They take Idol out into the yard and kill the sheep near him. Flies swarm around the carcass, which causes Idol to kill them. As a result, countless jewels are produced. The ordeal continues in a montage of murdered animals zapped insects, and literal boxes of riches. After the children lock Idol away to purchase more food, he turns back into a rabbit. All of the riches turn to insects and devour the children. The message here is likely about greed, but the imagery and storyline used is deeply unsettling, especially considering that there's no dialogue aside from the growls of Idol. Number 2. Pick a Dun 
On August 6, 1945, the United States dropped a fatal atomic bomb on the Japanese cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The result was over 200,000 deaths and irreparable damage. Picadon is a Japanese phrase that refers to the bombing. Picadon is the title of this 1978 animation created by Rezno Kinoshita. The short film begins by showing the lighthearted daily lives of random Japanese citizens. A family, workers, and people in the street are all portrayed. Of course, we all know this is going down a dark and depressing path. About three minutes into the cheerful scenes, a loud roaring can be heard and several jets are seen in the sky above. Everyone carries on with their day, but tragedy is not far. The bomb is dropped and in flashes of gore, we see people's skin literally melt off their bodies. A mother attempts to protect her infant but is too weak for the powerful waves of the atomic bomb. Buildings are turned to dust and cars fly through the air as well. Burned bodies of all sorts of people are shown, mothers, children, and more. Finally, we are met with the remains of a small child we had seen in the opening of the film. Perhaps the most disturbing part of this short film is that it isn't fiction. Before we get to number 1, my name is Chills and I hope you're enjoying the video so far. If you've ever been curious as to what I look like in real life, then follow me on Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT. I also have a Twitter at YTChills where I post video updates. I'd really appreciate it if you followed me and feel free to send me a DM if you have any questions or suggestions. Number 1. Backwater Gospel In the small old town of Backwater, when the undertaker arrives it means he's waiting for someone to die so that he can carry them off. A religiously charged preacher in the town suggests that the homeless man who never comes to service should be taken out. The undertaker arrives and everyone waits nervously to see who will be the one to die. After seven days of no deaths and rising tensions, the preacher again suggests that the unholy man is the cause of this torment. He claims that killing the man will give the undertaker what he wants, serve God and protect the rest of the town from death. When the angry mob kills the homeless man, the undertaker still doesn't leave. Everyone goes on a murderous rampage until the whole town is dead. Well, it ain't gonna be me! At which time the Undertaker finally begins measuring for coffins, suggesting that he was there for the entire town. Aside from a great storyline and a satisfying dose of gore, the art used in the story is magnificent. You get the feeling that you're reading a fast-paced graphic novel with great animation alongside it. More importantly, this video is a great starting point for discussing about organized religion and the agendas of religious leaders. The short was directed by Bo Mathorne and released in 2011. It won the Animated Encounters UWE European New Talent Award. If you're going to do anything with 9 minutes of your life, Watch this piece of high art. Before you go, I wanted to tell you about the giveaway I'm hosting. But first off, thanks for watching and leave a like so I know you made it to the end of the video. Don't forget to subscribe because I upload new videos every week. My name is Chills and I'm thanking you all for your support by giving away three $100 Amazon.com gift cards. It's completely free to enter and you can enter the giveaway by visiting the link at the very bottom of the description. It doesn't matter when you're watching this video because top15s.net slash giveaway will automatically direct you to my most recent giveaway. See the terms and conditions on the linked page for full details. See ya.